Just about that much. Good, everything's working out in our favor. This right here. Oh, I'm the king. It's like. This hell. And I got a wine glass. The minor fall. The major lift. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm starting it off. It is Sunday and I just arrived in Phoenix. We're not here for too long, but allegedly it's 99 degrees outside and the sun is still out, so I may go to the pool. But yeah, just enjoy the journey and I'll see you guys at the hotel. I'm not going to do a room tour because I've already done this room before. Just go check out any of my Phoenix vlogs. You, I have a couple Phoenix vlogs and one of them will be this place. But I love this window because it always reminds me of The Hobbit. Because it looks small and it, it is bigger in person. But it is so tiny. Like a hotel room would have like a whole thing. Like the whole thing would be the mirror. But it's just this arch and I think it's so beautiful. It reminds me of The Hobbit. Like... Bilbo Baggins door or something. I love it. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're in Phoenix. I've changed my mind. We had such a long and rough day. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Um, I really need to rest. I'm gonna shower and you know, just eat some food, eat some snacks. Some people are over there like oh you can't see, I'm gonna zoom in. But there's this restaurant. It's in my last video my last Phoenix video too. Um yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I would have loved to go into the pool. Maybe next month I'll do a Phoenix um, and get a nice layover because I do love the sun. The Phoenix sun gives me the most perfect tan. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. It's like they're filming some type of um, music video. I think it's cute. And then the restaurant. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all last time, but here it is again. It looks really interesting. Anyways, that's about it. Bye. Like, I don't know. Mm. These hotels need to start giving us free food. Good morning. So it is currently 7.01 a.m. in Phoenix, which means it's about 10 something in New York. Um, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All maked up. Maked up all made up wear my shirt my cardigan and my skirt today this is the clothes got my little heels on the skirt my skirt is actually big it keep falling I feel falling off of me now um but this is it uh eight minutes until pick up so i'm gonna put my bag on and let's go i think today will be a good day this is my second Phoenix flight of the month. That's my whole bag. I only have three, so don't don't come for me. Bye bye room. Um, it should be a four hour, probably twenty or four hour, thirty minute flight. But well, like I said, we're ready to go. Good morning. It is currently six fourteen a.m. And I am heading off to Dallas for training. Um, I'm wearing my uniform because I want to, you can, you don't have to. But since I'm going to go through our security and I have liquids in my bag and whatever, I'm going to just go in full compliant uniform. Um, that's my alarm. I have to leave the house at... 620 by 623 but i feel like i'm about to pass out 
I don't know for some reason like yesterday was I think 78 and it was really hot inside and it's still kind of hot so I'm just gonna get some nutrients in um, I'm bringing the one water bottle that I have with me just in case I can't get one on the plane and I need water in the hotel room I'll only be at training for two days but I just feel like I'm burning up like I'm going through menopause or something it's so weird it's so weird I ate breakfast though I ate two eggs a while ago I probably could have ate more but I'm okay tell me why this dress this is a new dress that I just got size 8 and it's already giving I need to be taken in like I don't know if you can see all that material but what I don't know it just it don't look as fitting as when I just got it a month ago hmm anyways all flight attendants have to do training recurrent training once a year just like how nurses have to get recertified and doctors and engineers and all those people we have to go through training as well to make sure we're up to date on all of the information that we've learned and new information that is coming through the system so that is that man i'm really hot i hope outside is like cool because i don't know if you can tell i'm starting to sweat All right, let's go. I think when I just feel really fine. I was in a wish, love ain't blind. Take another risk. Money for me, yeah, bitch, come in. I got money for me, yeah, bitch, come in. I'm gonna ask you. For the past years, you have basically to be logged in. Thank you for your cooperation. Once again, welcome aboard. Miss you, miss you. Sorry if I miss you. Doctor, it's on in the vent. Finally landed in Dallas, and I had to get me some to eat. So I got me these Einstein bagels, but for $14 and change, I don't think they're going to be seeing me again. It's not that though. Right now I'm currently waiting on the shuttle to the to Tampa. There's a lot of other crew members here. I'm comfy, but it is very muggy and I think they're supposed to have storms all tonight. So I'm just going to sit here and I made it to training. As you can see by the little planes behind me, um, there's a way that we can start like our assessments early and then we can leave earlier tomorrow. So I'm trying that because if I can leave even five minutes earlier, I'm trying to get out. I want to go back home because I have a trip the very next day that I'm trying to drop. But fingers crossed someone picks that up. It is Memorial Weekend so I'm not sure if they're going to pick it up. But... Yeah, I'll just sit here and wait until I get further instructions. And I'll see you guys probably later tonight. Bye. Well, I'm done with training, but I tried to get on an earlier flight literally like three hours ago, two hours ago, and it didn't work out. And I was super, I was in my feelings, I was in my deep emotional bag. So I just did not want to come on camera. <laughs> um because it really should never have worked out how it worked out but it is what it is so i'm on my original flight um i have a confirmed seat in the very back of the plane um but that's fine i like i prefer window seats i'm not sitting between nobody up in the front i hate middle seats and i hate aisle seats like unless it's in first class or business but other than that i hate like i hate it um so yeah we're heading back to new york i don't even know today is thursday may 23rd uh i'll see you when i get back in bye good morning good morning good morning I'm heading to my bar class right now god knows i want to sleep in but i'm not going to um let me just make sure to not forget my socks. It's special type of socks. It has a little um, grippies on the bottom. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna make this real quick. 
so and I need to leave the house now um stuff this right here for now but let's go let's go I am back I know like I never left <laughs> I'm back from pure bar it was a lot of fun this is my fifth class and I'm seeing a lot of changes in my body and I just feel really good so like I was saying I go to Austin late tonight my camera's on one percent I'm gonna charge it and I'm gonna come back to you guys I'm sorry this vlog has been in bits and pieces my makeup is done and ready for work my uniform is ironed right here and i did the chicken i don't know if i told you but i put some chicken in the oven i have some salad mix in the fridge and i'm gonna share out like three containers of salad and then i'm gonna put two containers worth of chicken because the last time what i did was i put the chicken on top of the salad but when i needed to um, put the chicken in the oven or in the microwave I didn't really have anywhere to put it because it's on top of the salad and all the containers are full so I learned my lesson from that um, I'm gonna actually start getting dressed now uh, like I said earlier several times actually I'm heading to Austin today isn't it pretty outside you can't really um, see all that well but it's really pretty outside and I'm wearing my short sleeve shirt I don't know I feel I feel good I went to my fitness class I prepared my chicken my makeup is done I'm, I'm running ahead of time but it's always when you're running ahead of time when you decide to be like late when you actually turn out to be late so yeah I flat ironed my hair I fixed it up I may even keep it in for two more weeks because I thought it looked old and ugly, but it don't. It didn't. <laughs> All right, this is the chicken, and I know it look kind of bun up, if I'm being completely frank, but it's not. It's not. It actually um, it's perfect. It's so juicy, and it's the perfect grill consistency. I put it in the oven for a good long time, and I'll lie to you. I think I was supposed to only put it in the oven for like 25 minutes because it's really it's a thin layer of um chicken breast. So it shouldn't even be in the oven for long, but I had it in there for, I think, 45 minutes. And it's still really juicy. And if that's the right time, then y'all let me know. But for the most part, it was in there for a good 45 minutes, and it's still fine. Like, if I could even show you. I can't even show you, but it looked nice. It looked nice, and it tastes nice. So let me get that ready and get off the camera. And I'll catch you when I'm dressed and probably heading to the car. All right, guys. So this right here is my Sephora um, bronzer in the shade Beach Bum Tan, number two. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'm on the phone with Kai. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use my big brush and just bronze out my face a little bit. This makeup has been on my face for the past the whole day <laughs> at this point and I'm gonna add some more color this is also from Sephora Sephora's um, contour concealer and blush is really really good for the price I'm telling you like everybody else is really overpriced and it's literally the same product that looks nice on you yeah <laughs> I'm telling you and but I'm not gonna lie I've been using um I've been using this kind of far right now I've been using um you oh god I put on some beer I've be, been using uh, youth to the people one more the mm, superfood cleanser and the moisture cream is actually really good and i've also been using tretinoin i got tretinoin prescribed by my dermatologist oh shoot sorry one second i got tretinoin prescribed by my dermatologist and it's it's been helping my skin a lot but the youth to the people SPF, no, moisturizer and face wash. 
I've been using that on my layovers and it's really been helping. Um, since I already have concealer under my eyes, I'm just going to set my eyes with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch powder. And I have a puff. It's a powder puff from Sephora. I go to most affordable route. I would have bought this on Amazon, but it was already in Sephora. So let's just put a little bit of that underneath our eyes. Then I put it on my nose, over my lip, and just in my T-zone. And that's really it. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do that I find really helps me is the same brush that I use to set my foundation under my eyes and over my mouth and my blush to blend out the um, powder puff powder. <laughs> I feel like it blends it into the skin really, really well. And so I don't look crazy. Nobody trying to look crazy. And then for nighttime, since it is nighttime, I'm going to put some eyeliner on my eyes. So let me hurry up and do this. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are in Austin and we're on 6th Street. <laughs> the last time I went to Austin was a little over. No, I haven't been a flight attendant that long. A little under a year ago. So make sure you go check out my last Austin vlog, wherever it may be. It's on my channel somewhere. But this is my curl. Ah. <laughs> Y'all are going to be in store for a whole lot of motherfucking shit. Oh, period. If y'all pay attention to this entire YouTube channel, if y'all pay attention to this season of what the fuck this bitch is doing out here in the motherfuck in places you wouldn't even imagine. I was just telling my good sister that I do thoroughly believe that these experiences should be put into a coffee book. I think that everyone would love to read shit like this because but you only know what? bitches like us do shit like this. We don't read, we watch. Huh? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Period. Like, am I gonna go viral? Good morning or good afternoon. We're gonna do a Las Vegas turn and we're gonna come right back to Austin. So, empty plane. We did all of our pre flights and everything. We board in about 10 minutes. So I just wanted to say hi. Went down to the pool, but if you remember from my last Austin vlog, like nine months ago, <laughs> um, the camera gets really steamy so y'all wouldn't have been able to see much because uh, it's really hot i think it's what 90 something degrees outside now 95 95 degrees outside so we're coming right back but we get here a little bit late but we'll see we'll see <laughs> have a good memorial weekend i mean you probably already had a good memorial weekend by the time this come out but anyways good morning b squad so I'm back from my work trip. Literally got in last night around like close to midnight basically. 
and I'm so tired but I signed up for a bar class at 8 30 a.m. a couple days ago and I was waitlisted so I was never expecting to get through and now here I am gotten through <laughs> and I don't want to be charged $15 and I don't want to um go back on my word so I'm, I'm trying to be more physical so I'm I could sleep right now but I'm not and actually I'm running a bit late so I can't even take the scenic ride that I like to take I have to take the toll ride um, because I gotta get there on time so yeah I don't mind I don't mind that's all I had to say. Um, I have a parking ticket to pay and it's, um, I think it's due tomorrow and I keep putting off because I want to pay in person because if you pay online, they charge you a $3 fee. Make it make sense. Make it make, they should charge you a fee to pay in person. That's what they should do. So I have to, um, pay that either online or I'm, I'm going to have to check today's Memorial Day. And I have to see if the locations that accept payments are open. But, child, I'm gonna make this bar class and then I'll be right back. Love is on fire. That's where love comes around. Back home, the camera is always a little bit lean and I'm always a little bit. PTSD doubt. Well, OC doubt. Um, this is my little workout outfit. It's from Victoria's Secret, but it's from several, 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 several years ago. Um, look at my arms. My arms are becoming more defined. I think it looks good. What do y'all think? My back is also unbigging. Like, if I show y'all, what I'm trying to get rid of are these, and it was worse. I'm going to tell you, it was way worse than what you're seeing right now. It was more like that. And now it's like that. So give me another three months, and I think it will be gone. Because I have a lot, well, I have a several, couple, like two, um, <laughs> backless pieces that I really, really, really like and would like to wear this summer. So I'm, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Right now though, I'm really hungry. I'm going to make a smoothie with my ice cream and my protein powder. So give me one second. Give me one second and I'll be right back. And I'm so sorry for like being so distant guys i'm just so tired like i have six days off i'm trying to find a trip to work or go somewhere go to another country or something i have myself listed for madrid tonight but i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna go but we'll see so i'll be right back <laughs> all right let's attempt to make <clears throat> this smoothie together <clears throat> My protein powder is PB2 Performance Peanut Protein with Madagascar Vanilla. Um, it's a plant powder based protein powder. Because the way one back in the day when I used to take it broke me out. And it would make me feel just a little funny, you know. So um, I started to lean more towards plant based. And yeah never look back I don't like when it sticks to the side so I have to put a little water in first um, this one is two scoops per serving so I do about two give or take more time it's take that's that one thing though with this it gets all over the place I feel like I'm wasting money and then I'm just gonna plop the um the ice cream in. So let's see how well that's gonna fall out. You know, there's a little spoon on the inside of the lid, but yeah, there we go. 
chips a little bit more water in there. We have some peanut butter. I want this to be the most protein based protein powder. Just about that much. Not go too hard. I'm going to cut this ice cream in half. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. There we go. I'm going to just eat the rest off the spoon. I think I'm going to add some dried oats. And this is what I'm looking like. I need my butt to lift. Give me some recommendations. Give me some give me some recommendations. Okay. Move these off the way. Some. Hold on. Make it loose. The consistency. I don't want to spill it. Mmm. It's very icy though. Very icy. But you know what? Um. This is my first meal of the day. I'm gonna boil two eggs. Probably in an hour or so, but this is nice. It's just a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm on a hot girl walk. Um, I have my headphones on, and I always have noise cancellation on, so I have to turn that off because I could barely hear myself think right now all right that's better Ooh, that's so weird actually yeah so you can't see me that well I was supposed to come on this walk a lot earlier but I ended up falling asleep after I ate those tacos <laughs> so it's a perfect um, weather now to come walking as you can see like I don't know I like how creative and artsy everything looks but there's this one community that I drive through I think I talked about it before when going to bar that, oh that's so cute that's like <sighs> anyways um when I drive to bar there's this one neighborhood that I like so I'm walking to that neighborhood child and I'm gonna envision myself in those houses <laughs> because they're really really pretty and then if it's too late I'm gonna call mommy and be like, hey, please pick me up. No, but um, I'm gonna try my best to walk back. I wanna try to hit at least 5,000 steps today. I haven't left the apartment. I'm seeing a lot of cool restaurants too. Like, I didn't even know that I was over here. I'm gonna add it to my Google Maps. Cause that's really cool. Anyways, bye. Talking to myself and I realized I might as well just share this with you guys. I'm trying to romanticize my life. I'm trying to give God thanks and the ways that I can manifest those is by moving, signing up for the bar classes. I've been to eight bar classes already in the span of three, four weeks, three weeks. This hasn't been a month yet because if you do 10 classes in a month, they give you six classes free. I signed up for the four class one because I got money like that and I don't have time like that either. So I think four is very doable for my schedule. Um, so anyways, they give you six classes free. If you do 10 classes, you get a free socks. <laughs> it's a specific type of socks though. So I know it's kind of funny like, ooh, a free socks, but I'll take it and it challenges me. Now their goal is to get you to do those um, 10 classes to show, oh look, you can actually do 10 classes in a month. Do you want to sign up for hell? No, I don't want to sign up for more. I'm just a very competitive person and I'm competing with myself to see if I can win that free socks. Um, but I know, I know what they're trying to do. Anyways, I'm trying to push myself to move. The turn off is coming up for the neighborhood that I love. So I'm really excited. Right now is actually, I'm going up a hill. Right now is actually a good time too because it's sunset golden hour so everything is just gonna look like how I see it in the movies beautiful and just just everything but anywho 
there's an even steeper hill coming up um so i'm getting off of this <laughs> limit what i show but look at the look at the look at the look at what we're working with this is just to turn onto the road oh my gosh okay i'm so excited that's how you know you're getting old when you're excited to see big houses lawns grass oh my god i love good grass <laughs> i love when the grass is green and even and just shaped up nice oh that makes me so excited and i really want to buy a house so all the good people out there please say prayers for me all the mean people you can say whatever the hell you want but i know god got me and i know the good people got me so all the good people please i want to buy a house please say all the blessings you can for me thank you in advance <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am on my way to work. It's gonna. I'm gonna reach work at 6:20 if I leave right now. So, which is good because my sign-in is at 6:48. So that gives me 28 minutes to get to the terminal from the parking um, employee parking lot. Um, it's been some crazy stuff happening. When I get to the terminal, I'm going to fill you guys in on what's been going on. But welcome to the vlog. I'm trying to do weekly vlogs again, so today is Sunday. It's going to be a flight attendant heavy start. Uh-oh. The light just changed red anyway, so I'm going to be brushed. It's going to be a heavy flight attendant start to the vlog. I have a three-day trip. I'll be spending the night in Phoenix and in Charleston. Um, it was supposed to be a long Phoenix um, it was supposed to be a long Phoenix layover, but it's not anymore and I'm really I'm really disappointed in that. It's gonna be like two hours and 42 minutes, which by the time we finish deplaning it's gonna be like 11 hours and 30 minutes with deplaning and actually getting to the um, hotel. It's very disappointing, but it is what it is. If things change throughout the day, then I'll be happy. But for now, it's it's a short layover. Charleston will be a longer layover. Um, that'll be interesting. But like I said, when I get to the uh, boat, when I get to the terminal, I'll tell you guys more. Hey guys, I know I said I was gonna talk to you in the terminal and tell you what happened with my trip. I'll explain to you how my trip is starting to fall apart in DC. But I met a subscriber and he's from Barbados and he recognized me. So he, he's gonna come on the camera. Are you you don't mind being on the camera either? There's two there's two people, but one of them. Ah, and they're new. <laughs> Welcome. Say your wait <laughs> shout yourself out. Yeah, so from Barbados. Uh-huh. Yeah, just start is my third week, you know? Uh, okay. So Okay, Mr. Bayesian. <laughs> and this is Emily. We're on the flight together, so you may be seeing more of her throughout this little vlog. But yeah, they're gonna start boarding soon. So guys, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the guys i'm gonna try to do a really quick update so my trip started to fall apart yesterday when they delayed our phoenix flight almost six hours so i had to call wait two hours on the phone and ask for a day room because contractually we, we get certain certain stuff when things don't work out <clears throat> so um we're on our way now to dc right this is earlier and on the plane we're about to take off the flight is delayed even more when we land our number one got called and we also found out in our apps that our flight uh, our flight for Phoenix we were removed from it and we were also removed from our obviously the flight from Phoenix to our next location and then we're being deadheaded so go down as passengers again from uh, DC to Philly and then we work Philly 
to Charleston. Then we spend the night in Charleston, Charleston, Charlotte, Charlotte to New York. So now we're in DC for 30 plus hours and I can't complain. I'm, I'm living life right now. I'm really happy. I tried to get rid of this trip and I'm glad it didn't get rid of itself. So everything's going good and it's not a bad day in DC. It's a little bit cold. Uh, I wasn't ready for this. I do have appropriate clothes but I was looking forward to the warmth in Phoenix but I'm really glad everything's working out in our favor so we're waiting now on our Uber and we're gonna go to the hotel and I'll see you guys The hotel in DC we're in Georgetown and we're gonna go to Georgetown cupcakes where are the elevators oh they're right here um, I'm really excited the last time I was in DC um, I was at this hotel we had like a 17 hour layover but we came kind of late so we also had to leave a little bit earlier like probably around like 11 or 12 so I didn't really get to enjoy it so 30 hours in DC, of course I'm gonna enjoy it now. So I'm gonna meet my crew down in the lobby. Oh, hi. We're walking now, let me get out the way. Firehouse. Uh-huh. This is nice, I'm not gonna lie. Was it pretty? Yeah, Guys, look at this little bird. I think the mama bird. She's gonna come oh, back for him. She probably dropped him on accident. Well, let's go. All right, guys, we made it to Georgetown. Cupcakes. We're gonna try to get something cute. This is a very famous bakery, so let's see what it's giving. We're in Georgetown Cupcakes. I think I said it earlier. Can't talk for long because music is playing. Oh, you keep doing what you're doing. But I'm gonna try all of these. I'm gonna put music over it. So. I love that y'all are eating it with a spoon. That is so cute. Cause I'm about to take a. <laughs> you know, like, you know, DC darling, you know, mm. you know, mm. what the DCNs do, right? I'm just gonna get my right. hands too. And the cream, the filling on top, so yes, yes. It's just mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. It's really perfect. Uh. <laughs> All done with our cupcake. Oh my god, delicious! It was so good, light, but filling, not too heavy. We literally all ate everything. There's nothing left over. And that's how you know it's just not too much. It's not too thick. So we're gonna continue walking around. We run into some stores, but we'll see. Oh, this is my outfit. I don't think I showed y'all. I'm wearing my skirt, white shirt, and my Adidas. So let's head on out. Moisturizer. Aesop, sponsor this video. <laughs> Aww. Okay, hand model. <laughs> For $33 though, what do you think? It, <laughs> real pricey. Yeah, he said it with his chest too. Perfect facial. 
hydrating cream. I'm here in Sephora. I picked up a new setting spray from Urban Decay and it's a vitamin C version. As you know, music's playing so I can't talk for long. So I'll be right back. But my makeup looks, looks nice. This right here is my new obsession. update um from the last time i saw you i don't know what you guys saw but i'm back in the hotel as you can see and i took a nap i ate my salmon yesterday I, um meal prep some salmon white rice i also have some fruits and some yogurt apples just some healthy stuff that i can eat um because i didn't really eat anything today Ooh, so it was so good I started to watch um, a show I found online and then I took a nap it is 5 25 p.m. and I'm gonna probably go back and take a nap again or I'm gonna get up and walk around the area some more and I may get some dinner it's a nice day it's starting to get a little bit overcast a little bit windy based on like how the trees moving and the clouds but it is still 79 degrees outside so can't complain so i think i'm just gonna give myself 20 minutes and if i fall back to sleep it is what it is if not i'll get up and i'll go walk around but so far so good me and the crew i think we're gonna get no, we're definitely going to do brunch tomorrow, so a proper DC brunch would be kind of fun. I've never done that before. I think that would be nice. I told them I wanted to try the mumbo sauce, because I think I tried it years ago, like before I even finished high school. I did a tour of Georgetown and some other universities up here with mommy, and I can't remember if I ever tried it, or I think there was a time I had seen Ricky long story I'm not gonna get into that but I, I don't remember trying it so if I can find a chicken spot that have mumbo sauce I think that would be really cool because it's a popular thing in DC the comparison would be like barbecue sauce but sweeter and more spicy and just a little bit of a more of a kick uh, but it's so popular my crew member said that I think it's McDonald's or Burger King or Casey one of those fast food restaurants provides it as a sauce like it, it is literally like a condiment that is provided so that's really really cool I'd like to try that out anywho enough rambling I hope you are enjoying the vlog so far like what a productive Sunday I love this for me uh, I think I already have about 9,000 steps and I would like to get some more so let me turn on my little 25 minute clock and see what I'm about to do after that it's it's decided it's been decided I'm gonna go to the um, Lincoln Memorial I'm just gonna walk it's a 24 minute walk going and then um, more likely a 24 minute walk back. So I'm just gonna do that. Just putting some um, conceal foundation around my eyes and mouth for that discoloration that I got going on. Um, yeah. That's really it. I need to wash these brushes like t yesterday. Um, very very light, very very light. I ain't doing nothing 
serious. They say you can put it on before you even do your makeup. So I'm, I'm really excited. Vitamin C. That's really it. I don't want to. I don't want to do nothing else. And my lip though. Even though this is so sloppy. What I just did. Line lips and um, lip gloss from the beauty supply. If I go wrong. All right, let's go. I have my purse here with water, my phone, water, my shades, even though I'm wearing glasses, so I'm, I'm not gonna bring these. That doesn't make sense. It looks like it may rain. I'm bringing my tie head because I didn't do all this work for it to get messed up. My cards, extra lip gloss, cause my lips, my lips be sucking out all the moisture out of these lip glosses i brought my power um cable and my power bank so just in case because you know how my luck be i literally be running out of juice and my little tote bag and i'm ready to go let's go i think i just got a compliment i don't know what the heck he said but he wind his window down and he was staring at me as he was driving and saying something so I'm gonna take it as a compliment. <laughs> um, this area of DC is just so cute. And this is, it reminds me of New York. Like, when you're in certain areas, whether it be in Brooklyn, Harlem, Manhattan, Queens, girl, even the Bronx, there's certain areas that just look so, like, movie like, where. It makes you want to live here. These are the places you want to live in these cities, but they're just so darn expensive. Um, I need to go up and cross and go back up. But even the lighting is just, it's just nice over here, you know? I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty, and it's a walkable city. I love walkable cities. Love walkable cities. Anywho, we're back. of the statue. going through my mind as I stumbled okay no as, <laughs> as I came across these two monuments actually three because you can see the Capitol building um, behind is that the March on Washington jam-packed this area so much like so many people turned out to protest and to show their support for what they believe in and um, to fight for what they want it will just right now it's just crazy like i can't imagine being here with like hundreds of thousands of people it wasn't hundreds of thousands i'm pretty sure it was i, I pulled up um a google image look at this this is right here like this is right here do you know how crazy that is i really wish um i know our generation and Gen Z is doing absolutely amazing. Kick him butt left, right, and center. But I really wish we could um, stand together like this again. 
to fight for the things that really matter. Yeah, that's all I have to say. All right, guys, I'm now in Whole Foods. I'm on the phone with Kai, but she's driving, so you can't really see her. <laughs> So, there's this drink that's been really popular on TikTok in those places, it's called Olipop. And it's pricey, it's literally $2.49. A lady just came up and grabbed one, so I asked her if she liked it. And she said yes, she was skeptical at first, but to treat herself every now and then because it is too expensive to buy all the time. So, I'm gonna try the one that I saw her pick up, which is the watermelon lime. But they have a lot of different flavors. Olipop, if you see this, sponsor me. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I want to get. Closing up, so I didn't really have much time. I got chicken, potato, um, broccoli, and I got some macaroni. And yeah, that's about it. I just gotta join the self checkout line. You know, I don't really want to do the self checkout. We'll see. I don't want to do self-checkout. Is it? Let's walk back to the hotel. It's about a 14-minute walk from here. This is the whole Foods. Woohoo! In the hotel. And I got a wine glass. I need to show my TikTok as well. I'm trying to double um content. Got a wine glass back in the hotel. Y'all gonna hear it two times. Because I'm currently on YouTube. And for my YouTube, I'm currently on TikTok. <laughs> I got Olipop. Olipop. This is the popular drink. I was telling my YouTube about it. And I showed my TikTok a little bit. I got it from my um, wine glass. And then here is my food. The chicken and potato. Broccoli and macaroni that I was telling y'all about. I'm gonna try my best to show you It was a big box of food. I will not be finishing it all tonight um, Definitely gonna have some leftover for my post-workout meal So this is what it's looking like mashed potatoes underneath And let's get into the Olipop moment let's see oh I don't want to pop my nails oh wow okay let's get into it let's get into it let's start with this I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge you gotta romanticize your life what the watermelon lime flavor is really that girl mm. Mm. okay now let's take a couple bites macaroni mm. Mm. potato and Okay, all of this was $14, best $14 I spent per. Good morning, we're heading to the gym. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera. I just, I have a lot to do today in the gym. It's one of my most um, full workout days. So like, I really just wanna get it over with. But yeah, it is 7.32 a.m. in the capital city. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Hunger Games. But yeah, and then every time I say the continent, I feel like I'm in, um, I feel like I'm in The Witcher. Like every time I say, oh, the continent, I feel like I'm in The Witcher. Anyways, I'm gonna go do this. We're supposed to have brunch today and i finished my vlog i finished editing my vlog i feel like i'm back on track like i'm working even though sometimes i don't want to i'm traveling i'm saving money i'm i'm, I'm being presented opportunities that i i never would have been in the place i never would have been even at the starting line 
to receive like I'm working out I'm going to work out classes I'm eating healthy as healthy as I can I'm putting money into my savings accounts and now I'm back on track with editing my vlogs yo god is so good like god is so good i've been praying more and more granted i'm <laughs> i mainly pray when the plane is about to take off like that's when my mind really be like girl pray um i don't i don't mean it like that like i really try to pray outside of that and just when i pray mo 99 percent of the time i don't ask for stuff i don't ask for stuff i really try not to unless it's something big and I just prayed for some big a while ago. But most of the times I just really try to thank God and tell him thank you for everything you've done for me. Like, please watch out for my family. And then I try to list people individually. And then I realize I have a lot of people to pray for. And I'm just like, everybody. <laughs> but like, I just try. And then whatever people are going through stuff and they tell me about it, whether it be them or friends or family, I try to ask God, um... To watch out for them like i don't go on my knees and close my eyes and clasp my hands and pray like i just talk to god like i'm talking to y'all right now and yeah i try to i try to tell him thanks for everything for all the blessings that i've gotten so far yeah that's that i went off i went off i went off um i'm going to go to the gym now and i'm gonna eat breakfast and i may go walk around again before brunch we will see about that. Yeah. Oh. Hey, mom. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah. All right, so I changed. Uh, before I get into this, because I need to touch on this. This is my outfit, just a little tank top and my skirt that I bought in London. It has a little, you can't see, but it's, it's a shorts in the back. Skirt in the front. Um, and I have my Tory Burch slippers on. So I just, I went to the gym. I had this water from yesterday. By the time I was finished with the gym, it was like this much water left. So I'm like, oh, okay. I even chugged like about this much just so it can go down so I could justify, you know, putting more water in the bottle. So I just opened the bottle to drink some water and I heard... So I'm like, that don't sound right, but okay, don't read into it. I drink, no, not even drink, I, I pull it close to my mouth and I smell carbonation. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It didn't smell like nothing, like how water should smell. It smelled like something. So I'm like, okay, don't read into it. Just drink. It's carbonated water. I don't do that. I don't do that and now look what I don't do carbonated water I'm gonna drink Oof! almost knocked this off I'm gonna drink it cuz I have no other water left to drink but I don't do carbonated water <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay I'm so sorry if you drink carbonated water I'm not trying to disrespect you I just don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm finishing up the show. It's 10 a.m. It's really nice outside. That's why I put this top on because it's currently 76 degrees and sunny. So, I, I mean, it looks cloudy outside. But I think I'm going to go walk. I'm going to put a little bit more editing into my vlog and go walking and see and see if my crew wants to have brunch in the next three or four hours and yeah i'm just i like this little life <laughs> sky west it's some, some other like it's a regional wait on me this time <laughs> <laughs> week and it's easy for you to get to work and out of work and it just come thank y'all you're welcome i ordered mine late <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like people using it, yeah, 100%, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's 
for I don't know where in Brazil she's from actually, but she's doing like. But it makes sense. Do that if even if it's a smaller trip that y'all can take together for the weekend, so they can see like what it's really like. Then yeah. Then what we were recommending, right? Wow. He was going in on us. He was like, yeah, we're, like we're not even considered one of the big three at this point. Like, far from. All ready for work. It's starting to look a bit overcast. Sorry about that. It's starting to look a bit overcast outside. Um, but yeah, my bags are all packed. Everything's ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna open this because it was open when I came in. And it's my little outfit. I'm wearing my blouse. The same outfit from yesterday because I took, what, one 40 minute flight? <laughs> I didn't even work in it, so I'm wearing the same thing again. Cute. Uh, right now, we're going to go to Philadelphia. So, D.C. to Philly. We're taking a regional flight. We're deadheading as passengers. And then we're going to work from Philly to Charleston, which should be about an hour and 30 minutes thereabouts. So, I'm really excited. It's been a great day. And then I'll go home tomorrow from Charleston to Charlotte, Charlotte to New York. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> this has been the most fun trip of the month, and the month just started, so I'm loving it. Okay, I'll see you guys downstairs. Bye. Right. <laughs> right, man. There's three of them. So, I mean, we got the right one right here. I saw someone. They were dropping a. So landed in Philly. Never have I ever had to stand down on the tarmac and wait for my bag. This is a new experience for I. But you know like in a lot of the Caribbean countries we definitely um been down right next to the plane and in some European cities depending on what time your plane arrives you'll you'll use the um the stairs or the ramp. Have a good one. But away from my bag this is a regional airline though so it makes sense and a lot of our carry-ons are too big for the overhead bins in the plane so we just have to wait for them to come out but interesting the bus courtesy of jamal because we would have walked all the way to our terminal given europe <laughs> Watch your video, it's inspired. Guys, I'm gonna make this really, really quick. I have a full suite with a kitchen, a full size microwave and dishwasher, and a full size fridge in the corner. Got my dining table and your living room set. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Have your TV. And of course, if you know, you know, I love my full body mirrors. Let's head on into the bathroom and the bedroom. We have a full bathroom. It's huge, but the vanity is to the right. Nice little mirror action. And then the bathroom with the toilet and the shower. And then you have your bedroom. Two beds. Love that for us. Another TV. <laughs> I don't have the best view, so I'm not going to show you. But I'm not mad at this room. This is really nice. This is real, real nice. So make sure y'all like up the video. Comment, share, subscribe. I'm just going to unpack, get ready for tomorrow, and shower. I just turned on the AC. We have a late pickup. Well, it's after in the afternoon. So I'm going to get on ready. I'll see y'all in the morning and let y'all know what I'm going to do. Bye. Hallelujah. I need to put these things in my lunch kit, in my um, 
in my bag thank you for my bag if i had known child i'm gonna put this in the freezer so it gets frozen for tomorrow and i'm gonna be eating this tomorrow so i don't think i want to freeze it again so i'm gonna put it in the bottom section hallelujah and then the rest of these can go in the bottom section i still have some food this is going to be tomorrow's i think we'll make it tomorrow's lunch i don't know that depends on how late i'm supposed to get back the fridge though is making a little funny noise and I'm doing the pee dance because I need to pee. <laughs> Girl, get your life together. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right here, there's like a whole gap in between the bedroom. But I'm just going to take out what I need to take out. You don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, a baffled king composing hallelujah. I always put these in the bathroom. I'm just, I'm just that girl. So I'm going to put these to the side. This is my vanity, not my vanity. This is my kit. One of my amazing subscribers bought me and I literally bring it on every single trip. So... A little piece of you is with me on every trip. <laughs> this is it. It's so amazing. And then, of course, my makeup bag. I got everything and more that I need in there. Um, I'm not really going to take anything out except for my speakers. I want to play some music real loud. So I got this from work. And some water to drink. And I think I'm gonna, well, I need to charge my devices. So I'm gonna set all of those up separate because I really, really, really have to pee. I really, really, really have to pee. So I really will see y'all in the morning. I feel like I'm in the Powerpuff Girls. You can't see my head. All right, I'm, I'm tired. I've been vlogging so much more. And you know what? I credit, well, I've already talked about this. But I also accredit it to the part that I just, I, two days ago, I edited a vlog that was a hour and 33 minutes long. And I'm just like, who is this girl? Technically, you know, I really want to remove one part and make it into another vlog. Because I'm like, an hour and 33 minute vlog? Girl, be for real. But it's nice. I like it. You can pause and come back to it. But I'm not trying to make my vlogs an hour and 33 minutes. I just really want to get back on track. Um, I'm gonna set up one next vlog, and if, 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 if it's 15 and it's like 50 minutes, I'm gonna take it out. But I do want to um, upload it tomorrow. I'm trying to do Wednesdays and Sundays again, and I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna work on my thumbnail today and see how the video done edit thumbnail alone need to work on now but anywho i'm gonna go to the gym i've already washed my face brushed my teeth put my spf on and i want to see what the pool is looking like and if it looks cute out there then after the gym i'll come shower and lay at the pool eat my food and yeah we our pickup time is 1 28 p.m i think um definitely in the 120s 130s uh we have quick flights today really we just leave late and we have a two hour sit in between our first and second flight but other than that like if our flights were back to back we'd reach back to new york early but no i'm gonna get back to new york around 8 p.m tonight i hope there's no traffic but i'm at laguardia so it won't take me long to get home fortunately when i fly from laguardia all the traffic from the Van Wick. Yeah, if y'all not from New York, if y'all never been in New York, if y'all don't drive in New York, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But there's this road in New York that's really um, popular and it's kind of like a one way in, one way out to the airport kind of road. Um, and it's always under construction. It's been under construction for the past several years. So it, it sometimes the traffic is really long 
there's a long wait but when i'm at laguardia i don't have to go over that side so i get home way quicker but anyways i'm done talking i'm done talking <laughs> see you later bye Bikana, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So I can change your appointment for another day. It looks like you saw. Um. Her name is. That's it. I'm gonna eat my yogurt. Yogurt. I'm on the the outside bed. The inside bed is what I sleep on. The outside bed is what I wear outside stuff on. And I'm gonna probably walk around Charleston a little bit. Bye. I'm so annoyed. I warmed up food, but I'm so annoyed um because that looks warm. It should be. I'm gonna just let it cool for a second. Um I had this thing that I had to take care of and for some reason it wasn't working with the browser that I have. So like it took me literally like three hours and fifteen attempts to finally get it to work now i only have a little bit over an hour before my pickup time so i was like okay i was gonna go by the pool maybe go into the pool or lay out next to the pool i get down there the sign on the pool door says closed pool is closed what so then i was like okay cool let me just walk around the area so i'm gonna step outside and we just feel so defeated that i came back up here i came back up here I'm like, this is just so depressing because I really had the intention to wake up early, go to the gym, which I did, and walk. But I'm like, let me just handle my business before I go perusing outside or perusing outside. Flop. It didn't work. So I'm all oiled up. I got my little bikini on, expecting, you know, to just have a good life. And I don't have that much time. So I'm going to get ready, eat my food, watch a movie, uh, iron my uniform, do my makeup, pack up my bag, and by the time I'm done with that, it'll literally be time to go. So time management is key when being a flight attendant for obvious reasons, but when it comes to like your layovers, like I don't have enough time to go outside. I'm not going to push it. So then me go outside now, I walk around and then it's time for me to go and I'm still on the road and I'm coming back and I'm stressing. I'm not doing that. So it's my recommendation that you don't do it either. Uh, there's been a lot of talking in the second half of this video. But yeah, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and then I'll come back. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I have eight minutes until pickup. I'm actually gonna head downstairs right now. I was just doing my final walkthrough, especially because this room was so big. I wanna make sure I don't leave anything. And I also want to turn off the lights. I turned back on the TVs because they were just, they were on. I just like to leave things as close to how I got it as I possibly can. So let me throw on my lunch kit on my bag. I'm going to grab my room key and my ID. But this is what I'm looking like. Whoop, whoop. All right, give me a second because I don't want to be late. On the plane, we've done all our pre-flight checks. I have six minutes until boarding. Um, it's a short flight, 45 minutes thereabouts. We don't have any service. We have a lot of deadheaders. It is kind of a full flight, but we're ready to go. I got some free hot water from Dunkin' Donuts, and I have my um, matcha green tea. I think it's been helping with my skin. Also, drinking a lot of water has been helping with my skin. And I used um, Trent Noen. That's been helping with my skin as well, if anybody wants to know. And yeah, SPF. SPF, 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 SPF. Right true. I'll see you guys when I get to Charlotte. Bye. All right, guys, we are now in Charlotte. As you can see, I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm waiting. The flight was really um, quick. 
it kind of felt long a little bit but it was a 36 minute flight we are in charlotte now heading from charlotte to laguardia and we have about an hour and probably 15 minutes until we start boarding so we're just casually waiting along with everybody else um it should be about an hour and 30 maybe an hour and 40 minute flight hopefully it goes by really quickly get home and get ready for the exciting day tomorrow so i don't know if i'm gonna vlog um tomorrow depending on how long these clips are i may put it in but we'll see make sure you like comment share and subscribe make sure you are always liking or always commenting if you don't comment then i understand make sure you are subscribed and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for all the support it means a lot to me and uh, i'll come back to you in a second good night or should i say good morning that's the end of my three-day trip very very irregular three-day trip that is i'm about to go to sleep it is 12.44 a.m. and I have a pure bar class at 6 a.m. Um, I have all my stuff picked out, like everything, my whole workout outfit. I have my keys and my cards, my lip gloss and my water. I need to pull my shoes out, but everything is ready to go. If anything, I'll see y'all um, tomorrow. If not, thank you so much for watching. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you in the next clip. Bye.